This art journal page was a total mess, but it didn't start that way. So I used this to try and fix it. But let me rewind a bit so my story makes sense. I start this art journal spread with my usual collaging. Because I love the texture it gives to my backgrounds, I use ephemera, tissue paper, and magazine pieces and glue them onto the page with gel medium. And right from the start, it looks great. I dry it well and start applying white gesso to blend it all in, which is always the next step I follow. And this is where everything goes wrong. I don't know what possessed me to try these colors. I was in a weird mood and I decide to use pink and peach colored acrylic paints on the background because one, I had never used them before and two, I've seen some gorgeous artwork with those colors and thought I should try. At first, it didn't look so bad, but then as I was staring at it, I didn't know how to proceed. In life, when I'm faced with a challenge, I usually step back so I can assess it from a different angle. But no, I do not do that. And I think to myself, I can fix it. Maybe if I add stenciling, it will break the color a bit. So I take some modeling paste and add it through a stencil on the edges of my journal, like I usually do. It covers it a bit, but I'm still unhappy. So I decide to add some turquoise blue, as I know that it not only complements the colors, but I might cover some of it as well. And it's also one of my favorite colors, so I can't go wrong. Well, wrong again. I add the blue, like I always do by dripping it down the edges of my journal. And it looks great, but only at the edges. The middle is still all wrong. This is where I take my own advice and walk away. So I honestly thought I would not be able to fix this project. And it might lay unfinished like so many others. I do come back, but only a week later. And as I sit down, I remember about Gesso. It can fix the worst messes and give me a brand new start. And just like that, I apply it to the page covering most of the pink and peachy colors. Not minding that some of it still shows, but it's not overpowering the composition. And it works. But that's not the end of my story. Once the gesso dries, I know I can move on with my project. And I pick some rub-on sticker flowers and start transferring them onto the page. The stickers have similar colors to the background, so they match perfectly. And the flowers bring that much needed happy feeling I experience when I art journal. A feeling I haven't experienced in a while. I also add butterflies, some extra texture, and a very fitting title to not give up. It might seem like the Rabon stickers saved the project. In a way they did as they added so much beauty. But I believe it's the gesso that saved it, as it gave me a brand new start, as I was able to finish the project and not be so disappointed. Gesso is one of those miracle products that you must have for your projects. And I give you a few more reasons why in this video right here. <laughs>